New Year's Day in Canada. It's like a fresh sheet of ice, full of promise and endless possibilities. This is the day many of us resolve to make changes in our lives. But for some, January 1st is just like every other day. It's an opportunity to prove yourself to your teammates, your battalion, to your uniform. The daily goal never changes here. Train hard, lead by example, be there for each other through thick and thin. It's a year-round commitment to teamwork. That is a resolution worth sticking to. Padawawa, the start of a year with the ones you'd want at the end of the trench. The hometown hockey crew arrived in style. In full military gear, Tara Sloan made her entrance in a light armored vehicle. Meanwhile, Ron and Don jetted in from Toronto on a private plane. Don Cherry shares his thoughts on Ron McLean, the military, and the folks from Petawawa coming out to take in the hometown hockey experience. I really think it means a lot that they get out and he gets out and you people get out and meet all the people in the small towns because that is Canada. And I'm very honored to be here in Petawawa to meet the troops. I'll tell you, it means a lot to me. The festivities included a performance from local boy turned country star Jason Blaine. They don't make them like that Lots of activities for the kids and retired NHLer Ray Shepard coming back home to reminisce about his time as a young player for the Petawawa Patriots. Yeah, I was born in Pembroke and uh, my dad uh, was in the Canadian Armed Forces and uh, we lived uh, a better part of my uh, you know, years through here until I was about Bantam age. Just started as a Petawawa Patriot playing here on the base. Had an A team and we went down there to Port Huron, Michigan and we won in the uh, finals 3-2 to two, and I was fortunate enough to score in the uh, overtime against the Don Mills Flyers and uh, it was an exciting time for us, especially uh, us players and, and the town as well. Ron McLean's military roots run deep and this wasn't his first trip to the small town of Petawawa. Well, first of all, I was an Air Force brat myself, uh, John, and the first thing you learn when you come to Petawawa is you don't acknowledge you're an Air Force guy. Uh, I came here as an honorary colonel, very proud of my beautiful blue uniform, and they quickly established it was a green base, cut it out. Uh, but honestly, it's just been a thrill to come back. Because you grew up in the military, uh, you see the similarities between an Air Force or Army life and that of a hockey player who becomes a bit of a nomad, and that's what this show has proven to be. Uh, going from town to town, I always say, in search of our saving grace, uh, it's our game, and uh, I think we're the most proud of our military in this country. We truly are, as peacekeepers and as brave, bravest of the brave. But we're also uh, known for hockey, and so to mix the two with Ray Shepard here uh, in Petawa was pretty neat. Hey, Tara, how are you? Oh, gosh. Yep. Okay. Mark. Oh. <laughs> oh.